meningitis left on my body a lot of scars and the doctor had to amputate also my fingers and both of my feet. When I'm out in public, I can see people uh, staring or looking at me. I used to hide my scars. Thanks to my disease, uh, now I'm a professional athlete. Uh, it's not an hobby anymore, it's my daily life. Uh, my scars are, are the worst in my feet because um, the skin is really not elastic, <laughs> but I can manage it. I'm Veronica Yoko and I am a meningitis survivor. When I first contracted meningitis, I had a high fever, uh, some pain and bruises all over my body. Meningitis left on my body a lot of scars on my arms and legs and uh, also my face, as you can see. And the doctor had to amputate also my fingers and um, both of my feet. I've got these scars because this kind of meningitis makes you like burning from the inside to the outside. So it's kind of a fire burned, but really, really deep. I used to hide my scars, uh, not for me, but uh, uh, I didn't want to shock people. The worst thing was how the people look at me. If you look me in a strange way, you make me feel strange. But now I don't hide it anymore because um, I think that people need to get use of it, get use of diversity. My face, I feel really comfortable because um, I feel like it's it's just me and um, it's a unique piece. Uh, I wouldn't be the same without it. I've decided to show my body on Instagram. I thought that could help someone to feel more comfortable with their body. The reaction was uh, actually beautiful and super powerful to me. Um, people just gave me a lot of positive comments and it was a lot to me. I don't feel um, any discomfort showing my scars because I think that my scars are my body and my body it's me. When I was in the hospital I couldn't see all the opportunities that my body could still give me but um, as I start doing sports and doing all the things that I was doing before with my disease I've understood that my body could still do everything and I've understood that my body is still amazing. Getting back in my swim costume for the first time, it was kind of strange, kind of beautiful. I started swimming just out of the hospital when I wasn't so comfortable with my body and uh, being in the water and learn how to move, how to handle my body was truly beautiful. Thanks to my disease, uh, now I'm a professional athlete. Uh, it's not an hobby anymore, it's my daily life. I train every day, uh, in a week uh, I go to the swimming pool five times, I go out on my bike five or six times and I run two or three times. My biggest achievement to date is that I'm going for my third Paralympic Games at 24 years old. Swimming helped me with my confidence because in the water I have no limits. Today I'm going to train to my local swimming pool and I'm training for my Tokyo 2021 Paralympic Games. I feel really powerful. My scars are just showing off my, my strength. What I can say to guys and girls that are struggling with their bodies is doing sport or doing something that makes you feel powerful and where you can learn to discover you more. In the next 10 years, I hope to get a gold medal at the Paralympic Games 
meningitis hasn't hold me back. On the contrary, it makes me feel more powerful and more able to, to express myself now. When I look in the mirror, I just see Veronica. Veronica that I'm really proud of. <laughs>